Hello, hello everyone, it's me, Chaff Commander Coffee, and we're back with my Humankind Let's Play. This is the second Let's Play I'm doing. Uh, fourth episode? Yeah, it's the fourth episode. And uh, we are just carrying on as we were, just having a good time, chasing down some uh, more pesky Assyrians. Uh, we're currently, uh, we are going to win the war, we just got to wait till uh, their war support drops, we took one of their cities and uh, that'll be enough. Otherwise we're expanding on to these islands on the coastline. Still got outposts to attach, I want to get at least my uh, expansion star one, at least the bronze one. It's a bit difficult too on these larger maps, uh, hopefully they rescale the expansion stars at some point because they are a bit tough to get as it were. Um, but we should be able to get our uh, aesthetic our merchant stars, science stars, maybe our militarists should be able to get our builder and a few agrarian stars on top of that. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have plenty of score going into the next era as our merchant star, as I was talking about. And uh, we will actually be able to reach the other half, uh, th this part of the continent as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, we can open borders with the Mongols, that's fine, just leave them to it. They, they'll leave our vassal alone, so uh, not worried about that. Knowledge authorities, okay, we don't want to worry about that just yet. We don't want to age up just yet. Where did that Assyrian go? There he is. Try to corral this unit uh, towards this army if we can. I don't think I want to take Wasakani. I could. I could take it. I mean, I've got the city cap, so maybe we should. Maybe we should just take it. Why not? Uh, I want these guys to continue exploring. Uh, probably send them west. Got a new event. Vishnu versus Shiva. Prosperous, patriotic, or celebrating. Uh, let's take Prosperous. That's an extra 100 gold. Can't really argue with that. Biestos is losing population. Okay, it doesn't make enough food right now. That's okay, we'll sort that out. It's getting flood irrigation. I can actually buy that out now to make sure it's got, yeah, they go plus 26 food now. That's very good. Get that Satraps Palace built. Get some, uh, definitely want to attach, um, I don't have to attach that, but I could attach these two to Wasa County. I could even attach that one. Um, we'll see. Do I want to get uh, this city set up? That's a decent spot for a harbour. Over here, Moares, uh, I can get a decent harbour up there. Very nice harbour actually. Uh, I've got no idea where that Assyrian raider went. Possibly down here somewhere. I mean, this war is this war is over. Like, I don't need to worry about chasing them around. Would like to get some more uh, military stars. How many more do I need to get my next? Okay, I need another quite a few kills actually. Okay, how much to attach this? 567. Okay, we want to start attaching some of these outposts. I want to get this up, uh, upgraded into a city. Uh, they're going to lose the war in a few turns. Might be better to try to get that city set up before we uh, attach more outposts, I'm not sure. I think it'll be cheaper. We'll see. Yeah, I've got a couple of spots I want new cities in. Might not even build the new city on uh, Strad, but... For now, that's fine. Discovered the Great Blue Hole. Cool. Uh, 
always happy to discover more locations. Uh, some Lux is here, so this would be an outpost that's worth grabbing. Uh, the Mongols might not be so happy about that. Are you willing to ally? So, will this independent okay. people be an ally or an enemy? Varian I'll pay for a scientific agreement, Their sure. Culture may not be in doubt. Absolutely. Lovely. Impressive. A cultural wonder that makes me want to pull out my toy blocks and go crazy. Take a bit of science osmosis. In my considered opinion, one of your competitors garnered a lot of fame building that monstrosity. Alright, great blue hole over here. There's our agrarian star. Uh, you know what, let's uh, get this swordsman disbanded. I don't need the swordsman here. Oh, there's where the Assyrian went. Okay, well that's fine, that doesn't really bother us. Oh, I've got enough uh, influence to attach. The world is full of Let's get an alliance with you as well. Nice. Science yes. agreement? Mm, I can't afford it. That's okay. So, we've got three alliances now. I think it might be worth us... Um, no science agreement? Okay, no, they need more money for that. It's probably worth us picking up uh, either the Byzantines or the Umiads in the next era. I think I might go for the Umiads actually. I think that could be cool. I haven't played them in a while. As long as they're available, of course. Uh, you can go grab that curiosity, sure. And we got another level up on our religion. Um, 20 science per alliance is an extra 60 points of science. It doesn't sound like much, but it would be quite nice to have. Uh, what else have we got? Money per number of trade routes, war support, influence on commons. I do. I like the. I love the unit industry cost though. So we're going to go with the unit industry cost. Um, it's just one of my favorite uh, tenants to have. Anything that reduces unit industry costs is just like, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Right. Can't piece out the uh, Assyrians. Or I think they flipped to the Ghanaians now, so can't piece them out just yet. I know it's a lot of end turns to start us off, but hey, uh, how about you give me Wasakane? There we go. Excellent. And you you want trade now? Sure. You want to trade everything? Yeah, that's right. You're weak. Give me your trade. Yeah. So now it's more expensive to set up one of these cities, but that's fine because uh, I can get more land attached, which is a big deal, so let's get some industry set up. They've got a farmer's quarter there. That does not seem like a good spot for a farmer's quarter. And that doesn't seem like a good spot for a maker's quarter. Well, actually that one's actually okay. But that farmer's quarter does not seem great. Then again, I can always just build the uh, build that there. Let's go for the stoneworks first. Uh, more spots for satraps. Uh, we've got Dunu there, that's kind of nice. I think I'll build the satraps here and then maybe a farmer's quarter there, that's quite a lot of food. And over here... I mean, I'm probably going to want to build a makers there, so I'll build the satraps there. It's not going to be a very good tile here, I'll probably be just putting up a load of garrisons um, in spots for uh, defensive purposes. Okay, we've got quite a lot of gold though, so let's buy out a few of those quarters to get the city uh, working as quickly as possible. How are we doing? Pretty good, pretty good. We can carry on getting more stars in this era, we don't need to uh, age up anytime soon. Mongols will be fine with that because I already got an alliance with them. New civic leadership. Okay, leadership's good. That'll give me another city cap. We don't need it right now though, so we won't be picking that up yet. Okay, those guys probably not going to find anything further, so we can get them disbanded. That's okay. 
So we just need to get Tralny turned into a proper city and Strahd there. Good. Uh, for Waris, we can attach that uh, soon, probably next turn. There we go, let's get that attached. Lots of extra food for uh, our city here. Let's get our uh, industry set up first and foremost. Market bonuses would be nice too. Bonus stability, Mike Keen's working on that. Uh, I don't know, I probably, yeah, I probably want to build this new uh, holy site in Master County. Uh, probably want a garrison there. But I wouldn't mind building this holy site. It's uh, a good question, why would I want this holy site? If I build a farmer's quarter there, I'd like to get a uh, makers there. So if I build the holy site here, and get that constructed in two turns. That works for me. Uh, we got all our builder stars yet? No, not yet, and not all of our agrarian stars, so we're getting close. Oh yeah, we'll get that, yeah, we'll get that really, really soon, so that's fine. All right, you guys, I want you to set up an outpost right here. Your empire becomes one of the giants. The uh, it looks like we're going to get our next uh, religious tenant soon as well. That's weird. Huh. wonder why it's uh, changed all the terrain there. Oh well, not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, let's push that farmer's quarter out. As our builder star, I'd like to get another farmer's quarter right here. Plus 28 food, very big deal. Gonna get a lot. This city's gonna get pretty big. Um, honestly, putting a sat traps here, and then getting like a makers there means I can get more farmers over here. So if we work on that sat traps next, I'm probably going to age up soon. Um, we've got quite high score for this era. I obviously need to get my score in the next era as well, but I still want to get that expansion star. And I mean, I can wait for my science star. That's okay. Again, there's no need for us to rush through the era. We're not we're not going to get anything out of the next era that we can't just get now. Fearsome on ten units. Yeah, sure. I don't know how relevant that won't be relevant really. Fuse that, I don't want that. Okay. Uh, you scouts can start making your way over to this island, actually. Have a little look around there. Applications research, there's our merchant star, and there's our final tenant. Um, let's take meditate often for the extra combat strength, I do like that. And you guys have now finished exploring here. I think I quite like the outposts to be... And then we'll move you down to check out this island. Science-wise, um, what do I actually care to do? How many more techs do I need? Two more techs, okay. Um, I want siege tactics, and I will want uh, foreign outposts. No, do I want foreign outposts? It leads to seafaring mastery, which is three mastered ships, which is charred companies, and charred companies is good. Um, craftsmanship might be more useful now, though. So we'll go with that. 
Uh, in fact, let's get a uh, craftsmanship first, because that is more useful now. Alright. It would be cheaper for me to uh, focus on attaching these last couple of outposts uh, than it would be to build a new city, I think. It's going to be a little bit cheaper anyway. Uh, however, I do want these Luxes. I do want a harbour out here as well. Uh, and we should get some more trade going as well. Buy your horses. Buy your copper. Uh, definitely want to buy your saffron. Saffron's very valuable. It's going to boost our uh, maker's qu uh, our farmer's quarters, so we get produce a lot more food. The lighthouse of Alexandria should be. It is pleasing to see you. I'll buy your obsidian there as well. You have quite a lot of resources. You're also hate-filled and you don't like me, but I've got alliance you with you. Tell me what you wish to discuss. Want a science agreement? Oh, I can't afford that. Do you want a science agreement? Refuse. Huh. Uh, let's renounce these grievances. I'm not worried about them for now. My keen is idle. Right, that new... Okay, we can get another holy site. How's our religion doing? Uh, very well. I think another another holy site in Knossos could be useful to try push these guys as religion. So let's build it over there. Press freedom. Not too worried about that. Yeah, so we're just going to play, I think I think this episode is going to basically be us just chilling as the Persians. Um, we might, by the end of the episode, age up to the next, uh, next era, as it were. Um, let's cut all of those uh, garrisons off a little bit, because I don't think we'll need those many at all, really. Working on sat traps. More science osmosis is cool. I mean, we're going to age up once we get all our techs uh, fixed up, you know? I like to get our techs fixed up first. Might as well get the score for it, you know? I've actually got people working on uh, farming jobs now, which is not very efficient. Uh, so I need to give these people more jobs. And soon. Two industry slots is good, and two research slots is good. Bountiful on my keen. I don't really need Bountiful on my keen. I'd rather have the Bountiful on uh, Knossos. They haven't quite uh, finished uh, all their jobs yet. That's a good spot. Make sure we get you the granary because you are starting to work farmer jobs. I could I could whip out a district, but like I don't like losing a population. Because population it can only grow one a turn, so if you are growing, it's better to just use it. I could build some troops, but we're gonna be hitting the medieval era soon, so I'm not too worried about doing that. Um Get my keen to attach Halaman. Yeah, now they're on 29 pops. Too many pops, not enough jobs. Buy out the artisans workshop. Put some more people on uh, industry. I don't think I'll claim this island because it's going to be too contentious, but I can definitely claim this one. And send these guys to go explore over there. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, how many more do I need for my... I need to attach one more outpost. So I can attach either... Wasakani can attach Alta for 900. Fiestos can attach Pinkoya for 900. Do I need 900 influence? Uh, we should be getting close to our next Aesthete Star as well. So yeah, we're going to have quite a good classical era. Which uh, suits me just fine. And then we'll hit Medieval and try and score some more points. Um a longer period. I think this scout has probably served his purpose now. I mean, I guess I could try to get him up to here, but he's not going to survive the journey unless I do it manually, so I think what we'll do is we'll just return him to this island and then have him disbanded for a little bit of extra pop. Okay, a couple more turns to go. There's our seat and our merchant star, so we've got lots of cash there. I don't want to do a, another... Yeah, we don't want to do any more, um, whatchamacallits. Civics just yet. I want to work on, uh, actually let's get you to work on your satraps palace, please. I want to make sure they work on the satraps palaces so that they have them locked in for the next era, because we will be aging up very, very soon. I think I should be able to age up next turn. Is it next turn? You attach Alturf. No, you can attach Alturf now. Sweet. Alright, we're not going to get many expansion stars, but even a few expansion stars is pretty good by me. Uh, let's get a couple of um, makers there. I can put a farmer squad there afterwards. Right. Make sure you set those up. Okay, 4,000 score. Pretty good for the classical era. Uh, who do we want to pick for the next era? We have the Teutons. Ooh, our religion's actually pretty good. But again, it's another expansion uh, sieve. I could start going to war with people who aren't my religion. Like, I could break my alliance with these guys. But we've got three alliances. I really feel like what we should do is take our position, start getting troops set up over here to do a naval invasion of these guys, because they're not my religion, right? We don't have an alliance with them. They have a vassal, so they're going to be one of the contenders. Yeah, they're one of the contenders for top spot alongside uh, my ally here. But if we select the Umiad, if they're still available... Nah, they're not still available. They got taken. Mm. Could go with uh, Kumer. They are very powerful. But you know what? Let's take... I want to take one that we haven't taken today. We are going to go with the Dutch with our next uh, pick, because that's what uh, Mister would like to see, so we'll be going with the Dutch next. So maybe going for Norsemen to get an extra harbour. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling I'm kind of feeling the Teutons would be pretty cool for us. Even if we're just picking them for the uh, Teutonic Knights and the Legacy Ability. Yeah, let's adopt the Teutons. Let's go with the Teutons, guys. This is I think we're in a good spot that we can make a uh, good use of the Teutons. And we'll get a lot of extra science out of it as well. Let's go pick Mountain Warfare up. And end the turn. Alright, we're Teutons in the medieval did era. Indeed have great cities with great cathedrals, but don't forget their great armies with great ambitions. Alright, Teutons time. So the first thing we want to do is we want to tech immediately for Chivalry, so we can get access to Teutonic Knights. Uh, after that I'm going to want to pick our Military Architecture for Trebuchets, Alchemy for a bit of tech, uh, Heavy Infantry because why not, Furnace Steel and Guilds. Right, so here's the plan guys. We don't really care about building a bunch of Kaiserdoms, because uh, our faith is very, very fast spreading across the main continent there. And as more people adopt it, it's going to get even better. Uh, we currently have 105 followers in our empire, but I get more bonus than that, don't I? Spurred by faith. No, okay, I'm getting 105 from faith. We took shamanism, so we want bigger cities with more population to get a bigger boost out of that. Which means we're also getting extra 100 science a turn, which is pretty, pretty good. Which means we can focus on warfare and still have a good tech rate, and still get good money. So I think Teutons are a good pick here. Um, I could play a few turns with the Teutons now, but I 
think we'll probably just call it there and so I can pick up the next episode uh, where we start off as the Teutons. Um, we got our Agrarian Star and our Builder Star already for this era. Expansion Stars, we have territories we need to attach. I've got to attach here. We've got a new city to build over here. Uh, I'll probably build one here, attach these two. Put another city here. Yeah. Yeah. There's another island here that nobody's bordering, so I can grab this without causing a grievance. So I can put a city right in Dene here. Okay, let's go set up uh, harbours and things. That will actually connect with the harbour that Strahd has. Manya needs a harbour, and I think I want a harbour on the west side here. And I'm going to want a harbour in Meladian as well. Put that down there, should be fine. Lots of food. Yeah, but this city's going to be really, it's going to get lots of population. So I'm going to attach Dene and like these four, and uh, Tralni's going to collect these uh, three. Uh, yeah, Dene will collect these three. And then we'll start building an army to go and invade. Uh, who are you? Done. The Poles. Okay, the Poles. I think they were the Aztecs, now they've up, uh, they've aged up to the Poles. I don't know how many Winged Hussar they will have, but we'll see how Winged Hussars do against Teutonic Knights. Uh, my money's on the Winged Hussars, but we'll see how many they have, you know? They might not have as many. So we'll start building up an army to go that way. Uh, I'm going to keep these troops around here to protect uh, our border cities. No reason to completely abandon uh, our... You know, completely abandon it so we've got no troops ready to defend. But we need to get a bit of tech before we have our... How long is it going to take? It's going to take uh, a few turns, not too many, like 14 turns or something, then we can start churning out uh, the Teutonic Knights. We'll have trebuchets shortly after that, so sieging cities should, shouldn't be a problem. That'll be good stuff. Right, guys, it's been me, Chaff Commander Coffee. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, feel free to leave comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, otherwise, there's my Twitch link below in the description if you want to check out the live content. And... Yeah, take it easy guys, have a good one, and I'll see you around. Goodbye for now.